Thomas and Percy were sitting in the yard, doing nothing, one day. Then, Sam pulled up. Hello, Thomas. Hello, Percy, said Sam. What are you two doing here? We're looking at something very special, said Thomas. What is it? said Sam. Look over there, said Thomas. Those are the magic buffers, said Thomas. I've been through those buffers once before, and it was a magical experience. Man, said Samat, that must be a magical experience. But, said Thomas, we are going to go to the magic buffers. I want to see what it's like now, to see if anything there is new, or there could be something dangerous in there, said Thomas. When are we going? said Percy. We're sneaking out to the sheds at 11 o'clock in the night. We're going to go to the magic buffers and see if it is still the same or if it's different. It was 11 o'clock now at night. Thomas and Percy were now getting ready for their adventure. All right, said Thomas. Let's go find Samat and then we can go see what's in those magic buffers. Right, said Percy. Thomas and Percy were waiting in the yard for Samad. Then he arrived. Oh, it was a tough challenge trying to get out of the sheds while not trying to make any noise, said Samad. Percy, Sam, said Thomas, before we go to the buffers, we need to know a few things. One, can little engines do big things? Heck yeah, said Sam and Percy. Are little engines afraid of anything? Heck no. And why is that? Because we don't watch horror movies. Full steam ahead! Brace for impact! We're here, everybody. This is the Magic Railroad. I haven't been here since 2000. It's been a long time. Sam looked around the Magic Railroad in amazement. It's really beautiful, he said happily. Suddenly, Thomas, Percy, and Sam saw something in front of them that made them stood still in horror. It's Diesel 10, they said. Diesel 10 was in the Magic Railroad all this time. He had been waiting for Thomas. Diesel 10, said Thomas. What are you doing here? What do you want with the magic buffers, railroad, and gold dust? You see, you little blue puffball. I've been waiting here for a while. I've been waiting to devour you with Peachy. It's all simple. I am a predator. You three are my prey. That's not gonna happen, Diesel 10. You're gonna go back to the other railway. You're never gonna come back to Southern, and you're never gonna harm it again. We'll let Pinchy decide your fate. <laughs> now! Oh, oh. Oh. Curse you, little blue puffball! Now's our chance, said Thomas. Let's get out of here! There you three are. Where have you been? Sir, said Thomas, you need to put some freight cars or some wood to seal the magic buffers. And why would I do that, said Sir Topham Hat? Because Diesel 10 was in there. What did you say? I said Diesel 10 was in there. We saw him in there. My, Thomas. We do need to seal those magic buffers. Thank you for letting me know. I'll have to go take care of it. Thomas, Percy, and Sam were happy to go back to the Magic Railroad, and they were also very grateful to get away from the evil Diesel 10.